This film wasn't made for champions. It was made for you, the fellow who usually sits up there in the crowd. For the chap who wishes he had the style or the staying power of a Gordon Pirri. For the boy who wishes he had the skill needed to put a ball in just the right place from halfway down the field. It was made for you in the front row, wishing you had the confidence to be next in at the wicket. Or like Terry Spinks, with enough training to give the other fellow a few bad moments in the ring. Training, you'll say, needs a well-equipped gym. We don't all have a vaulting horse, a buck, a set of climbing ropes, or one of those tall, upright leather things which you're supposed to knock flat on the floor. Why bother about equipment? Those people have the same equipment you and I have, a body. The shape of it doesn't matter. Whether it's square, tall, short, bent, or just a body. Take this business of shape again. An apple tree is different from the chestnut, which is quite unlike a coconut palm. Yet each of them, with care, does its job and bears fruit. Now you all know these fellows. Yet very few of us know what they are capable of, with coaxing, a little attention, of course. Let's take this one, or no, this one. Or why not? all three, since the shape doesn't matter. It's what they can call upon, the equipment to do it, that counts. And it counts up to five. Speed, spring, skill, strength, stamina. We all possess these powers in one measure or another. Speed. You watch folks in an emergency. Spring. Whenever you need it. Skill. Well, even that was outside the boundary area. Strength. Well, strength, you know, is largely a matter of knowing the knack. Stamina. Of one kind or another. How do we get the best results out of the body we have? The answer is a little care and coaxing and trying to go one better than before. You've all seen this, the annual veteran car run to Brighton. Each of these cars is an individual with its own shape and performance. They are coaxed, petted and cared for, with the result that each year more than one car breaks its own previous record. Drivers find it sufficient and satisfying Yet we still find boys who must set themselves up against champions, never even reaching the finishing line. Young Jimmy was a case in point. When he first took up athletics, Jimmy felt right out there on his own. Jimmy had the willingness, but not the confidence or the training. The club he belonged to had its full quota of champions, chaps who'd been at it for a long time. You know the hopeless sort of feeling you get watching the old hands. And fellows like Jimmy always measure their progress by a scoreboard. A list like that did nothing to encourage him. Fellows looking on only made him feel inferior. As far as the club was concerned, Jimmy wasn't even a runner-up. 
Now, supposing Jim, like those old cars, had been competing against himself, setting his own standard and trying to go one better, the champion would still have a column to themselves as well as the beginners. Over a period of time, Jim would better his performance step by step and yet still have the chance to make his mark. Try it out for yourself, Jim. It's an average achievement, but this time there's no disappointment. He's begun the five-star trail, and it's up to Jim to beat his own records with care and coaxing. This NABC scheme was designed for the average chap, like Jim. The stars are awarded for the average achievements in five exercises. The other stars follow as you break your own records. 